Um, so, a second topic today is Nintendo announced something that is very weird, to be honest. The 2DS XL. And it releases on July 28th. It costs $149.99. Essentially, what it is, is a new Nintendo 3DS XL without 3D. Uh, which, you know, the 2DS is a 3DS without 3D, except it doesn't have a clamshell design. This does have a clamshell design. Mm -hmm. It is quite literally a new Nintendo 3DS XL. Y you mean an ergonomic Yes. Sorry. Design. Ergonomic. <laughs> a new yeah. ergonomic clamshell design. Yeah. You know, you mean just like yeah. the 3DS. Yeah. Um, so... The reason I think it's such a weird announcement is I'm trying to understand the marketplace for this system. So it costs $149.99. The, the original 2DS costs $129.99. And that's often, especially during the holidays, discounted to $99. Um, the 2DS, because it just releases this year, pro, uh, the 2DS XL, I'm sorry, probably won't have any discounts uh, this holiday since it just came out or it will be just coming out. I, I don't understand. I mean, okay, to frame things, you and me are not exactly excited about 3DS as it is right now yeah, uh, no. because the Switch has kind of sapped our excitement away from the 3DS. Uh, and we talked last week about how uh, what could bring us back, well, no, certain games that could bring us back. The 2DS XL is not something that, that's going to bring you back, obviously, because I already own a 3DS. Yeah. Um, and what I want to try to figure out, and maybe you can help me, is... What's Nintendo doing? What's the market for another 2DS that is literally a 3DS XL minus without 3D? 3D. Which, yeah. again, I understand the market for the without 3D. Yeah. What I don't understand is, like, why does... Like, you already have the 2DS XL, which was built to be more durable, harder to break for kids. And the clamshell has always been easier to break, so it's obviously going to be for older kids, but older kids can have 3D. Yeah. You just have to be over the age of six. Yeah. So... I mean, what's the point? That they, it's twenty dollars cheaper than three DS. Yeah, and even three DS is used. You can get them for like one fifty and under. Yeah, I don't. I really have no clue where they're going hand. with I really this. It up. Yeah, yeah, you um, did. <laughs> no, it's. I'm. I'm just really confused. Uh, I'm not confused in what Nintendo's clearly clear messaging here is, and it's that the three DS isn't going anywhere. They're going to yeah. keep that thing going as much as I feel like they need to stop. They're not. They're not going to listen to me. Nintendo's going to do what yeah, they no. do. Yeah. So, good, good on them. Kudos. Yada, yada, yada. Congratulations, Nintendo. But I I just don't understand. I, I guess the only market I could see for this is if you're a kid that got the 2DS and you feel like you're the loser at your school because everyone else has the 3DS clamshell. But you're still going to be the loser at the school without 3D. Yeah, but the, the reality is the 3D, if... Parenting is done right. It's probably been turned off. But, yeah, I was going to say, even then, even though I had a 3DS, I don't think I ever, hardly ever took now, on a 3D. No, see, that's that's a, a, a point there. If you're someone out there that wants to get a 3DS um, and wants to get it cheap, but you don't care about 3D, this could fit into yeah, that market. That, that would be about the only market I could see besides maybe some kids. But I I still don't. That's the thing. Like, I don't care about really the 3D. really that big of a market, though? I don't know. Well, Okay. To put it this way, I think, based on my experience being around other people who play 3DS, I'm pretty sure it's like 80% of 3DS players don't really care about the 3D. I mean, maybe for a, a new game, they'll turn it on for a second and see how cool it is and then get bored of it. And the main reason is obviously because uh, on the original 3DS, um, it was really easy to, it was really angle based on, on if the 3D worked or not, so it was really easy to bug out your eyes. The new 3DS fixed it with face tracking, and so like you could turn it a lot more, and it stays like a good 3D mm -hmm. image, so you don't get as big headaches. But still, it's kind of one of those things that 3D is more of a novelty. Uh, it's kind of like when you think of 3D movies. Movies come out in 3D versus 2D. The 2D it, movies <laughs> always sell out before the 3D movies do. Right. I, I'm still, I still have yet really to find a 3D movie that really actually needs to be in 3D. Well... I don't think movies need to be in 3D. I think uh, the idea of 3D, I, especially for like movies, and I'd even say for video games now, is that it's supposed to make you feel more immersed. And I feel like 3D is on half step. Virtual reality is immersed. Right. Like if they took a movie like Avatar, which is probably the only movie out there that, that made 3D almost feel like it, it improved the experience a little bit. Mm-hmm. 
if they could turn that into a virtual reality where everywhere I look around me, I'm in the world of Avatar as this movie's going on. Right. That would be cool. Yeah. Um, and that's what, what virtual reality video games are like. So I kind of feel like 3D doesn't matter anymore. Um, I think it's cool that, you know, it's glasses-free 3D, but it's still just one of those things that I think the 3DS, if nothing else, has proven that 3D isn't a really a mainstream thing anymore. I mean, how many 3D TVs do you even see out there right now? I mean, yeah. you could still find them online to buy, but you, you, know, you go to Walmart, maybe one, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Usually you see 4K curved, you know. Yep. Things yep. that pe- consumers actually care about instead of yep. um, 3D. So I guess I understand where the 2DS XL fits in, but I feel like this is would have fit in like two years ago. Right. Better than it fits in today. Right. It, it seems like they're just trying to leg along the this type of um, handheld and just kind of... Yeah. Okay, so Nintendo's done a lot of interesting things with 3DS in terms of... Like, now you have faceplates for the new 3DS, uh, the new 3DS XL, and the old 3DS XL. You could, uh, buy, like, they, like with every game that came out, they had, like, a new custom-designed uh, 3DS. You can get, like, collectors who want to keep buying it. And I wonder if, like, the idea with the 2DS XL isn't necessarily to build a bigger consumer base, but to just sell more 3DS units and make more money off of the same hardware to people who just got to own every type of 3DS. Yeah. Um, and that feels weird because, like, why would Nintendo release a product that's such a limited audience that, you know, does have the money to keep buying all these 3DS hardware? But that's the thing. I, I just, at this point in time, I don't know what the point is of a 2DS XL. Um, again, yes, you know, $20, $50 cheaper, I guess, than a new Nintendo 3DS XL, which is probably going to come down in price this year. <laughs> I I and, just... <sighs> and now that you say that, I thought the 3DS wasn't going anywhere. This to me kind of almost seems like a, a final nail in it because, like you said, most people really don't care about the 3D aspect of it. At least it, most people that I didn't know, anyways. Um, I'm sure there's people out there that do. Yeah, but uh, uh, if you're in the but, audience and you love the 3D, that's great. That, no, like, no, this definitely. Product it is, for it you is cool. Though. It is cool. But it is really cool. Um, especially but, like the using the 3D when you're doing the AR games. Yeah, that came with the came with the 3ds. Right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, that's cool. I yeah. wish there was more they did with that. To right. Be honest, but right. But um, this being, you know, how many dollars cheaper? I have a feeling that this is going to actually, you know, basically almost in a way kill out the 3ds because if you can get it for cheaper and you don't care about the 3d, why not? But at the same point, it's like how could it kill the 3ds if everyone who wants it already has it? Like, it, that's kind of yeah, where I'm, yeah. I am with the 3DS is, yes, I realize the 3DS sold over 7 million units last year. Like, that's that's great. Like, that's millions of sales. But, like, how many of those were resales? Like, people who used to own a 3DS, sold it, got back and do it for Pokemon. Yeah. Or one of the collector's edition Pokemon Sun and Moon 3DS or something. Yep. Uh, it, it's like one of those, how many of these sales are just people who already own 3DS versus actual new customers? Right. Um. And that's where I wonder is, like, there has to be a cutoff point for the 3DS eventually. Um, if the Nintendo claims they're going to keep running the Switch and the 3DS simultaneously, they're going to have their own exclusive games, and there's going to be two separate markets. Um, and that's fine. Nintendo has to say all this. I just, and maybe the 2DS XL is them trying to, like, reprove, hey, we're still dedicated to, to, to pushing this 3DS yeah. unit. I just, I don't know what the end game here is obviously the end game is to make money but how much more money do they really think is in this 3ds market beyond you know games which will sell to people who already own i it's a tough position because we're both in the position where we don't really care as much about these systems since the switch came out um so in the audience you know i'm not saying the 2ds xl is a bad system um i think if it had come out a couple years ago that's the system i would own right now instead of a new Nintendo 3DS XL. But uh, that's just not the direction we're going in. See, Eric getting a little upset over there. Sorry. <laughs> Shaking yeah. his head. Um, but I don't really know what else there is to say. Um, so are you excited for the 2DS XL? You know, let us know down in the comments below. 